Daily Devotional by Pastor Paul Rica, International Director of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Date, Thursday, November 16th, 2023. Topic, God is the Source of Knowledge of Medicine, Part 1. Our text today is taken from the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 19. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Key verse is taken from Isaiah 28, verse 26. For his God doeth instruct him to discretion and doeth teach him. The Bible says that it is not good that a man be without knowledge and that in the latter time, knowledge shall increase. Without knowledge, there would have been no advancement in human society. Always go to the scripture, know the language and spirit of the scripture to enjoy the fullness of God. Medicine exists purely and completely separate from Satanism. Although Satan often takes advantage of this to introduce his vices to humanity and lead them to bondage. God created water for our good, rivers and streams for our use. Someone may decide to sit by the river and enjoy nature, but Satan has made many people to be afraid of water spirits. They warn others not to sit near the river because of water spirits. This is the work and deception of Satan. Satan has laid claim to the body of water by showing human beings that his kingdom is inside the water. God created water for man, not Satan. So you can go to any body of water and do that which is natural and needful. 
you will not be hurt. Some people think that all medicines, conventional and herbal, are from Satan. What makes them satanic? Did Satan create them? No, they are the handiwork of God. And God has made them good. It is Satan that is taking advantage of human ignorance to promote his name. We must not give God's glory to Satan or condemn God's good work. God leads men instinctively and by other means to discover that which is good for his life. That is something you can know. You have been told that medicine has been in existence since the beginning of the world. God directs man, however, to discover the things he has put in his world, to use them for the good of man and for his glory. God is the one that gives the knowledge of medicine and medical therapy. You may wonder how man came up with the knowledge of the airplanes, ships, and vehicles. The key verse gives us the answer. For his God doeth instruct him to discretion, and doeth teach him to teach him to be continued. Thought for the day, what defiles a Christian is demonism, not medicine.